Okay, I mean, she should mind her own business. Who's the dock worker, man? Who's the, who's the damn dock worker? Is this not... This is greater, Mero. <laughs> I'm so stupid. Buy my fish. Go to storage. Go to... No, don't go to... St come back. And then rest. NASA used a pencil too? Yeah, because just like everything else in the space program, they copied it from Russia, probably. I don't know. I don't know a whole lot about space. I think we demonstrated that yesterday. So true. So true. <laughs> Skirt. Found anything special lately? Yeah? No? Yeah? I found an old iron chain and like a broken monocle. I saw a broken scooter. I bought a broken scooter. Uh, dock worker. Here, take this package. He takes a large package and examines it gently with his hands. He lifts it to one ear and listens for a while. Much appreciated, friend. The hell, you didn't give me anything? I was just, like, it was an act of charity? Your reward was a job well done. I mean, I guess it's just, you know, it's not real money anyway. Love the blue shirt. Thanks. It's like we're... I mean, the, the weird period, um, like, fashion-wise, where, like, it looks like it's summertime outside, but, like, it feels like it's winter sometimes. So, sometimes I, like, put on a, a t-shirt, and then I go outside, and I need a sweater. And sometimes I put on, like, a sweater, and then I go outside, and I'm like, I need a t-shirt. So, my, my laundry queue is, like, all in disarray right now. It's a very turbid time for, for my fashion. Costco does sell shirts, but I would not... Like, listen. <laughs> sure, I'm gonna it annoy, uh, offend some people with this. You can buy nice food at Costco, but like... Um, you, you should... Socks, shirt, like socks and underwear, yeah. But like, if you're wearing Kirkland Signature jeans, or like, uh, I mean, even the, the Kirkland Signature stuff is okay. I mean, this is now where I'm going to offend some people. Now listen, I own some of this brand, but you should aim to minimize the amount of Hurley long sleeve shirts in your in your closet, I think. I'm gonna die. Take me over here. Nobody's worn one since 2005. I had to buy some Kirkland Signature. Well, I mean, they were not Kirkland Signature. I had to buy some Hurley long sleeves at Costco when we went to my in-laws place because we didn't pack adequately for the amount of time that we were going to be there. Listen, I'll, I'll wear a Hurley long sleeve at home. But I, I don't take myself too seriously. I would rather not wear it out, though. A man meets you at the dock, bracing himself against the wind and the spray. Oh, rapturous day, a fresh disciple. I'm just passing through. Nonsense. Your arrival is providence from the deep itself. The rite of purification is almost at hand. Your trial begins immediately. Tell me, what does your spirit seek? I don't know, happiness, I guess? And your flesh, what does it crave? I'd say like the warmth of the sun. Finally, what does the world deserve? I don't know, everything? The trial is concluded. The knowledge will be delivered to you in time. Your role as my initiate is to act as herald of the purge, just as I was. 
Retrieve three fathomless flames from the crags behind us and ignite the crucibles. Visit the shrines of the deep. I will mark them. Okay. Well, for now, brother, I'm just going to take a snooze. How do you get any sleep around here, man? This shit is orange. I'm not even supposed to be here. I guess this is our volcanic area. Shark. Just, I, I can't fish for volcanic. How about you don't do that stuff? Listen, I gotta go to the Northwest Island first. I just always went to the... I always go to the wrong direction first, because I'm... I get my directions confused from time to time. Hello. You approach a hooded figure. Fisherman, serve. Deliver the vessel. You want a, a cusk eel? Okay. No, Miyazaki, I don't want to go to Kaelin! Taking us a time. It's taking us a long time. You got a couple days for that quest? I'm okay with failing it. That doesn't really bother me. You ever been to a show where people booed the performer? Not unless you count the, the hockey games. I honest I feel kind of bad when people boo at the hockey games. Sometimes they'll boo like a, this kid is like 19 years old or something like that. And I'm like, man, this, this dude graduated high school last year. Oh, hello. You're, you're gonna boo his ass? It's so mean. Yeah, it's so mean. I mean, like, I get it. You're like, I paid a lot of money for this ticket and, like, you didn't score a goal. But I'm like, he's trying his best. Like... <laughs> They're millionaires? Who cares? I mean, they still got feelings. Why, why are you just getting off on being mean to somebody? Because, like, the, they, their puck didn't go into the net. It's fucking weird. Screw. Rickety pontoon. Have a drumstick and your brain stop ticking. Dude, she's, she's everywhere I need her to be. She's everything I want. She is everything I need. She's everything inside of me that you want me to be. He says all the right things at exactly the vertical horizon. We should spend a day fishing. And thus get enough money to upgrade our hull. You should research the rod for this area. Okay, I could do that. You need mangrove or coastal. All right, I could do that. I could do that. Watch it. I'll demonstrate. Oh! This does everything, bro! Oh, I can't do it yet. I got, oh, I'm going to have just enough. Oh, wait, I haven't done any of this shit at all. We'll just take the anti-tangle line. What's wrong with me? It is every day, bro. You spend your day fishing. I spend my day pissing. We are not the same. So very true. In, in so many ways, such as. Okay. Sleep me, and then let's do some fishing in the daytime. Whoa! New rod. Gray mullet? What is this? Hulk Hogan, um, when the, when, when Hulk, Hulk, 
when that, what is this? Ted Nugent, when uh, grocery stores closed, um, when pharmacies closed during March 2020, so he couldn't buy hair dye. What is this? Um, shut up, dummy. I'm fishing. Entwined mullet. What is this? Um, <laughs> I'm going to sell all of my fish. I mean, that's a cool hundred bucks right there. Anyone else go see the Dungeons and Dragons movie? Finally, a question I can answer. Yes. I believe it overperformed at the box office this weekend and has become a, a hit with critics and fans alike. So yes, other people did go see the Dungeons and Dragons movie this weekend. You gonna go see the Mario movie? Nah, it's too early for me to uh, bring my kid to a movie theater. She needs, she needs another few months. I don't know how long. Also, I think the Mario movie might be a little intense for a two-year-old. That's more of a movie that I think is targeting, like, the 27-plus Bachelor demographic. <laughs> I think it looks good, though. I, I mean... I mean, it's, it's not a bold take to say animated movie is going to be good. Most animated movies, like, they, they're pretty good. Because they target a general audience and they, uh, you know, don't offend anybody. I'm sure it's going to be good. I'm sure it's going to be an enjoyable time. And by sure, I mean heavily probability-based, I'd say. I guess I can't say I'm sure. Hmm. Comes out tomorrow, right? It's not Friday because it's a, it's a holiday weekend. You think it's gonna break one billion? I don't know. Do people still go to the movie theater? Kind of? I mean, I know Avatar 2 made a lot of money. Billion dollars is a lot, but... I don't know, my weird hot take is that I think it'll probably make less than Minions. For little kids, isn't Mario kind of like Boomer Core? I could be wrong. Nah, they still love Mario. I mean, as they should, but... They play Nintendo Switch like crazy. Nintendo Switch Fortnite. Oh my god, cheeseburger, Nintendo Switch Fortnite. <laughs> True, Nintendo's been, they've been doing some great marketing. You got Super Mario World at Universal Studios, Mario Movie. Maybe, you know what? Apropos of, of the question, sure. I think it probably makes, I think it clears a billion. I'm just farming for now. That's true. I will never activate the net. I'm just enjoying fishing. When are they going to make a dredge movie, man? Tomorrow? Hopefully directed by Robert Eggers. I don't know when I'm going to make it back to a movie theater, man. We saw two movies at the movie theater last year. I guess one of them was in 2021, now that I think about it. But it was, like, miraculous. Like, the only reason we got to see Dune in theaters is because, like, we chose to take Remembrance Day off. And then our daycare was like, yeah, we'll stay open. Like, it's like they didn't even know it was a real thing. No, 15% chance to not reduce food stocks. How about that? 
And then, like, we saw the Batman. I would be inclined to say that the Batman was a good movie, but it was not worth seeing in theaters for us because we went to, like, we got a babysitter, paid the babysitter, went to, like, a, an 8.50 showing. The movie's three hours long, and plus the seven hours of commercials before the movie. So we got out of the movie theater at, like, 1 a.m., and then the baby woke us up at, like, you know... 645 it's like that all that just to see batman was not at, at my age and my level of bat enthusiasm i'd be inclined to say not worth it hang on i'm just i'm just gonna do a quick three-point turn here i decided i'm not ready for that environment yet bro chill Oh, it's true, I have Banish. Nevertheless. Oh, just wait for it. Oh! You are truly the most devious bastard in New York City. This is it. I haven't even seen the show, and even I know the line in the line read. That is, <laughs> this is really good. <laughs> this is a great clip. Did you really not finish Suicide Squad so you could watch Catwoman instead? No, no, I didn't mention it, but I did finish Suicide Squad. Oh, I missed the trophy. Because I, I, I got greedy. Suicide Squad, the James Gunn Suicide Squad, good movie. It gets the seal of approval from me. They did, a, they did a good job on that film. We don't speak about the original. I would go ahead and say that, I mean, I haven't seen, like, the last six Marvel movies. But I enjoyed the Suicide Squad certainly more than Shang-Chi, certainly more than Black Widow. Certainly more than Ant-Man and the Wasp. I'm trying to think of, like, I haven't seen Wakanda Forever. I haven't seen a Thor, Love and Thunder. I haven't, uh, there's a few I haven't seen. I haven't seen Quantumania yet. But maybe the Doctor Strange. I, re I, I really like Doctor Strange, too. I'm, I've got a big old boner for Sam Raimi and have for like 20 years. So I think that I'm a biased source on that. But for me, I, I, I greatly enjoyed uh, Doctor Strange too. But with James Gunn, I know, I know this is not a popular take for the Zack Snyder fans and I'm not trying to pick a fight. But uh, I feel like the DC Universe has a chance if he's going to be like the, if he's steering the ship. I'd like to purchase this, please. Thank you so much. I'm not a, a DC hater. The only reason I would have been negative about the DC universe is because, like, I didn't like any of the movies at all. Well, I guess it makes me a hater. But <laughs> it wasn't like I went into the movie being like, oh, this is going to suck shit. Like, the first couple, I was like, let's give it a chance. And then I was like, oh, this again? But now they're doing, like, a reset. And they're almost, like... Listen, I don't think they've crossed yet, but the, the Marvel and DC lines are, are getting closer. The polling is starting to get... It's the first time there's been like an inflection point towards parody in a while, I think. Mind you, this is coming from a guy who's literally seen like, like four movies in the last three years. So you really just shouldn't listen to me. I know what I must do. I must do more research. No, I must do more floating dock. One extra engine, four new cargo spaces, three more rod space. Hang on, I want to look at my storage real quick. My storage. Oh, is that actually bigger? <laughs> it doesn't... <laughs> that shit is so underwhelming, man. I will listen to Discussing Film on Twitter. I'm sure that'll do me good. 
I had to mute discussing film on Twitter because the for you algorithm only served me their tweets. It's fuck I was talking about it on the Discord. I know everything about Shazam 2. My ass has not seen Shazam 2. My ass hasn't even seen Shazam 1. But like every time I go to Twitter, it's like Shazam 2 was a flop at the box office. Zachary Levi crying his eyes out on TikTok, blah, 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 blah. So I had to mute discussing film. But then the algorithm was like, nice try, bitch. And they started serving me tweets that quote tweeted discussing film. And every single one of those is like a loot box. I see a quote tweet that's like, imagine writing this. And then it's, this tweet is from an account that you've muted. And then I click view because it's a dopamine loot box. And I'm like, discussing film. Come on. They, they know how to get me, man. You know, let's just start as simply as possible. I'm realizing there's no rush here. You know what? We got a surplus of hood. Drop the drop the hood off. What about the Barbie trailer though? I didn't see the trailer. There's something sinister about the posters though. The fact that there's like multiple Barbies and multiple Kens, but then with Michael Sarah, it just says there's only one Alan. What the fuck is his deal, man? What's going on with Al Alan's got me freaked the fuck out. Is this like a is is Alan like the the Kang the Conqueror of the Barbie universe? Like what's going on? Or is he just going to be comic relief? <laughs> or is there, is there like a sinister don't worry darling undertone here? I don't know, man. I don't know. I know I keep coming back. Sorry, sorry. I, I think I need to do research. We have made a lot of progress today. We should get a new net, right? Like we should get... Mangrove net, maybe? Oh, I can't because I haven't even researched this one yet. Dunk, dunk. If you want a secret tip, the nets are a waste from this point onwards. Fantastic. <laughs> Beautiful. That's because they don't have KD. So true. But don't the Nets still have a better record than the Suns? How did that happen? I don't know anything about basketball, by the way. But again, the Twitter for you algorithm seems to think I'm a huge basketball fan. Plus two? It's not a joke. <laughs> It's fun, please try it. I mean, I played basketball as a child. I was pretty good at it by rural Ontario standards. Like, if, if you let me drive to the hoop, I'm hitting that right-handed layup, like, I would say 8 out of 10 times. Left-handed layup? I don't know. Like, honestly, I'm a little nervous about that one. Think the Sixers have a chance this year? Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and say that they're going to go all the way. About your Timberwolves? I think, they, I know we've done this bit before as well. I feel like the Timberwolves are like one of the most forgettable, and I don't mean this in a negative way, because people probably forget about the Canucks all the time too, but I think they're one of the most easily forgotten franchises in North American sports. Like if you asked me to name every NFL team, or sorry, every NBA team, 
The Timberwolves would not be last that I would name. Probably, like, the Washington Wizards would be, like, the last team that I would recall. Bro, 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 whoa, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa! Call me Lydia, the way the gar is so brutal. The Hornets? Okay. I would, I would give you the Hornets, too. The Pelicans? I know the Pelicans because they have Zion Williamson. Is he the best player in the NFL yet, or did it go... Terribly wrong. Sorry, NBA. You know what I mean. That's true. I would have forgotten about the Sacramento Kings, but they're actually good this year, which I know because of my Twitter for you algorithm. I bet I can name every team in the NBA, okay? <laughs> I can't do it while playing Dredge, though. I bet I could. I bet I could. But I'm enjoying Dredge for now. Utah Jazz, I would remember. I mean, honestly, the other teams that I'm likely to forget is um, the Atlanta Falcons. I don't know if I'm just a hater. Maybe maybe Jay is here and he, he's a little bit more uh, graphic design pill than me. The Falcons just have like a... Sorry, not the Falcons, the Hawks. Thank you. See, that's how forgettable they are. The Hawks just have, like, such an uninspiring logo for me. Like, it's just like, I get that it's kind of a bird's mouth or something. But it's just a C. I'm supposed to pog up over a, over a damn C. The Magic... If a team was good in the 90s, I will always remember them. I mean, the Magic, Shaq's first team. I'm never going to forget the Pacers, Reggie Miller. I'm never going to forget the Memphis Grizzlies. Trashed a $100 fish. Newman voice from Jurassic Park. Who cares? Nobody cares. See, he just trashed a $100 fish. Who cares? <laughs> There's an infinite fish in the sea. You can't take it with you. If I dropped a $100 bill on the ground, you say, sir, you dropped this, I would say thank you so much. 100, 100 digital dollars? Watch this. Stop me. You want me to do more? What, you want, you want me to do more? What do you think, crab pot? Get that out of there? I'll just sell that one. I mean, I'm not using the crab pots anyway. <laughs> you carry cash around? No. No, I don't. So don't rob me. If I see you in Costco and you don't have a cart, you start coming over to me, my ass is bolting for sure. Okay, you got a cold storage. What are we working towards here? Well, we were working towards this net. And now we are working towards this X, which apparently marks the spot. I've been told. 
Yeah, okay. Enjoy this, idiot. Oh no, it's already 6 p.m. I should... I should go back and rest. Then we'll come out in the morning. Enjoy Mars! Oh, the net has immediately worked out. Lack of upgrades to your hull is nuts. Bro, literally just don't crash into things. It's not that hard. Seemed hard for you yesterday. You know how Mondays are. I swear people can't help themselves. You know you'll be more efficient if you manually wake up at, at 4 or 5 a.m.? You realize how much efficiency you've, you've prioritized in the game versus how much efficiency you prioritize in your real life where you can actually reap the benefits of... <laughs> Sorry, it's really condescending. But come on, don't you ever just... You're just playing a game to enjoy yourself. Why don't you play... Some games are meant to be played as efficiently as possible. Some games are meant to be played... You know, if you're enjoying yourself, then there's no wrong way to eat a Reese's. The game says wake up at 6 automatically. I'm waking up at 6 automatically. I'd say you've encountered the local wretches. Take a seat. I've been trying to rid them from this accursed jungle ever since we wrecked here. The boys call them mind suckers on account of them, well, affecting the mind. I'd ask you for safe passage away, but not until I've avenged my squadron. I can help you. Pursuit added. First, we need to find the lost pieces of my squadron's mortar. Other planes went down to the north and east of where you are now. I'll mark the possible crash sites on your map. Now go see what you can salvage. I've hung a few of their dog tags up on the tree behind me, but I've only got tags from the ones... I never found all the bodies. If you happen to find any other dog tags, I could add them to the tree. Here's a research part. Never punished? He's a genius. They were on one when they made this game, man. Like, when they made this game, bro, they were definitely on drugs. My reaction when I hear the worst fucking song I've ever heard in my life? Whoa. What was Imagine Dragons on when they made Radioactive? Holy cow, these guys were definitely smoking some good shit when they made this song. My reaction when the Beatles say, uh, She's got a ticket to ride. Whoa, Johnny. Whoa, maybe lay off the grass a little bit. Hang on. He's going a little too crazy. How am I supposed to follow this? Was this song inspired by <laughs> LSD or something? Holy... What, you honestly get get banished. It's on cooldown. What is this bit? This bit is that people always be saying what kind of drugs were they on when they wrote this song. And then the song is always like, The baby's good to me, you know, she buys me diamond rings, she says so. She's in love with me and I feel fine. Shikikon, did you change your color? Airman, I have found parts of the mortar. He's like, you found one part. Okay, Mr. Pedantic. Why doesn't your ass get out here and help me then? <laughs> Jesus, I've only been gone for like 45 minutes. I came back with a mortar barrel. He's like, there's still more to grab. Okay, like... Easy, Mr. Picky.
Didn't they only recently let Paul McCartney back into Japan after he was caught with weed like 50 years ago? <laughs> yeah, but like, I... You know that the rules that apply to us don't apply to Paul McCartney. I'm sure if his ass flew into Haneda Airport, he might have to go through secondary. But, like... You know. They're not giving him the same treatment they give you and me. I can't look at... I can't read the map. I'm sorry. The Canada-US one is crazy to me. Like, I, I semi-respect the law. <laughs> Phrasing. I respect the laws that make sense for me to respect. Thou shall not kill. That's a really good one. But here's one that doesn't make any sense to me. Marijuana, though I don't partake regularly, is federally legal in Canada. State legalized in Washington, the state directly south of me. Federally illegal in the United States. So if I got asked by... Not that this would ever happen, because they'd lose, like half of their tourism, I guess, but, like, if I ever got asked at the federal border, like, have you ever smoked weed? Then I have to either admit to having done it, at which point they could ban me from entering the country forever, or, not that they would, but they could, or I have to lie to them. And if they found, like, a clip from a stream where I was, like, and I was... I'd gone crazy off the Zaza, then I could be banned from the country forever. I don't really want to lie to the border guards, so please don't ask me that fucking question when I come through the border, because it's, go it's going to create a serious conflict. That just doesn't make sense to me. Just say I don't recall. On the advice of my attorney, I'd, I would like to plead the Fifth Amendment. Can you plead the Fifth Amendment as a Canadian speaking to an American border guard? Or does the Fifth Amendment only apply to American citizens? Like, if you're in Guantanamo Bay, can you plead the Fifth? I could invoke my charter rights. That's true, I could invoke Article 37 of the Charter. I've been advised by my barrister not to answer this question in accordance with my Article 37 rights, according to the Charter of Canadian Rights and Freedoms. Squeak. I'm pretty sure America suspends habeas corpus at the border. They suspend what at the border? Like as a, as a, as a threat? What, like, from the... What the hell is habeas corpus? I'm realizing... <laughs> I don't know what habeas corpus is. <laughs> they got him strung up like the Pirates of the Caribbean, right? Wait, does that mean that if an American soldier wanted to use my house for food and quarter, because I don't have... Uh, any Third Amendment rights, I couldn't refuse them. That's my favorite amendment. That is correct. If my ass was at an Airbnb in Seattle, and the US military was like, hey, we need to sleep here, I'd be like, you can't do it, I'm using my Third Amendment right. They'd be like, you're Canadian. I'd be like, all right, fuck, pull a, unfold the fold out. <laughs> There's a Murphy bed in the laundry room. <laughs> Son of a bitch. I don't know why this seems so hard to me. I have to sail around this. Increase my sins, man. What's a Murphy bed? Oh, fuck. 
It's the, the Murphy... Oh, I need maybe explosives. Murphy bed is like that Looney Tunes ass bed that comes out from the, um, the wall and then like snaps you into the wall. It's what the Three Stooges get trapped in. Exactly. It's the bed that killed Bella Lugosi? Is that true? <laughs> I don't know enough about that to say whether it's true or false. That shit killed Dracula. <laughs> oh, man. The bed that killed Dracula? Van Helsing. I don't know why Van Helsing said in the by men in voice would make any sense there, but so be it. Motherfucker. <laughs> Costanza. I think he died from heroin. Are you sure he didn't get folded up into the wall? Like, double switch? If you'll excuse me. If you'll excuse me. Yo, could you just chill? I'm, I'm using dynamite right now. Tattered receipt. Me, when I forget that you have to show your receipt to leave the Costco. And I threw it in the trash, but then I gotta go pick it up from the trash. I did... <laughs> sorry to make this more Costco-pilled. But I did... I had a little panic attack exiting Costco last night. It was just me and the baby. And the receipt checker... I mean, I, we probably had like 15 items. But she was like really looking at the items like she looked under the cart and then there was like a box of miscellanea that I got and she was going through like every single item on the receipt and in the box it took like maybe 45 seconds for her to check the whole thing and I just realized like when I realized that this isn't one of those situations where like she was just gonna look at it for half a second and be like that looks right I was like, what do I do if, if she says, like, this isn't right? Because, like, I, I've only got two hands. One of them is for the baby, one of them is for the cart, because she got sick of riding in the cart. Like, I guess if something's not on the receipt, you could just take that shit back into the store and throw it in the garbage, I guess. I didn't know what to do. Thankfully, it didn't come to that. She was just, like, a really diligent worker, I suppose. I was scared that they might pull my membership or something. Fifteen percent resilience to panic. That's pretty sick. I'm pleased with that. Oh, bullshit! My ass is lost in the mangrove forest. Help me. No, I'm not. I'm exactly where I need to be. What the hell is this? Equipment broken. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Guess what? I found parts of the mortar. Now, while I work on assembling the mortar, you can get started on the next phase of the plan. You may have noticed some contraptions. I've assembled those traps for the mine suckers. We just need to lure them in there. Once they're in, you see, I can fire on them with our new mortar, and that'll be the end of them. No more nightmares. Okay. We need to make three special baits. The first bait takes three fish from this area. I don't have the fish for that bait yet. The second bait takes two fish from this area. The third bait... Takes two fish from this area. Do you want to know anything else about the bait? I'm alright. Okay. Alright. Let's talk about baiting the traps. Never mind. That's all for now. Mm -hmm. 
Let me. I, 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 that's everything. Actually, no, it's not. I need to sleep here. He does love to talk. Your trawling net has some fish for the bait. Okay. I've been lied to. I've been lied to. I've been lied to. That wasn't you, was it, Shiki Khan? <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> oh, the Vortex Interloper. Bro, <laughs> run. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna save, and I'm gonna go to the bathroom, because I gotta go to the bathroom, which also means that it's pivot. I let nature tell me when to pivot. What are we gonna do when we get back? I have no idea, but I'll see you in three minutes.